We've come into Popovo today. Um, we're a little bit late, unfortunately. We usually are, as you know. Um, we are taking the cats for castration. So these are the kittens that we got in the summer last year, you know, kind of like our, our cat that we didn't get neutered in time, got pregnant, and um, we had the kittens. So basically here we are. This is Pixie. And this one is Pixie. That's Pixie. And this one is Columbus. He doesn't look as happy, but his operation probably won't be as bad. So yeah, we're just basically getting everybody out of the car and stuff. We're about five minutes early for the appointment, so it's not it's not too bad. Unfortunately, the weather is sort of still a bit grim. We've got like a little bit of drizzle. It's only really spitting. It's not too bad. But um, yeah, so we're going to get these cats in and see if we can sort them out. Uh, we haven't had any more oil warnings or anything on the car. All seems to be running, no more leaks in the uh, in the roof up here. So you can sort of see probably where the water damage, you. you know, hopefully that can clean up. Um, but yeah, we had a problem with the shark fin aerial, so we had to like kind of silicon that and <laughs> reattach it and stuff. So yeah, we're cracking on and just uh, getting these in. The vets is just behind me, we believe. We contacted him on um, on Viba. So one of the things that Bulgarians use is a bit like WhatsApp. Um, yeah, you know, you'll have a you know you might have still have an English phone or whatever, and so this is handy. So you download an app called Viba on your phone, and you can usually make free calls or free messages to um, you know a phone number. It's a bit like WhatsApp if you're used to that. Emily, what's the matter? <laughs> scared of, of, of nothing as usual uh, yeah so basically yeah we're gonna go into the vets and we're gonna see he basically said to come in on uh, Thursday at 2 30 so we're just about at that time I don't know how yeah we've got about five minutes yet so we'll get in there and um, hopefully we can get these cats all sorted out and um, it's not too late hopefully <laughs> oh, little things Okay, so we dropped the cats off at the uh, vets um, for their procedure. Um, we have been told that they'll be finished at 4 o'clock. Uh, we dropped them off about 2.30, so we've got about an hour and a half uh, to basically wait until they're done. So that's when we're going to go back. Um, so that's pretty good. I think you said it was going to be, she said it'd be around about 150 left, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. Round about that. We're not sure the total cost yet, we just need to... But you can pay by card, she said, so that's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, we thought we'd take a walk into Popovo, see if we find something to eat, get a drink, you know, that sort of thing. And yeah. um, this is the main sort of... Well, this is in between the administrative buildings, I think, in Popovo. Um, unfortunately, it's not the best day. It's a little bit rainy. But um, we're not quite into summer yet, are we? So yeah, it's like a kid's playground over there. Yeah. So yeah, I thought we'd show you what Popovo has to offer because I think we've tried to do a video here before. For one reason or another, we've never ended up sorting the video out and editing it. I can't remember why, you know, maybe something's happened and stopped us doing it for some reason. So yeah, you've got like a kid's park here, which is pretty cool. We'll have to close Emily's eyes and act it's all wet at the moment because it's uh, just spitting with rain. Emily, it's spitting with rain. We need to go get something to eat. And there's also some sort of weird slight uh, thing here. I don't know if this is like a paid for ride. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, so one, one lev, I think. Yeah, so that means, I think three, I don't know how long that is for. Is it one go is one lev, three goes is three lev? I'm not sure. Is it three places? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so we're not, you know, this isn't like the centre of the town. This is just like a nice kind of area that they've uh, that they've done up recently. It was just paved when we were here first, but they've now added sort of like some water features and stuff to it and brightened it all up. It's next to the kind of park. Um, this is pretty good, but this isn't the centre of the town. Uh, but it looks to me like Emily has forced Rachel <laughs> to allow her to go on the slide. So uh, we will uh, 
we'll have to wait for them to come back but anyway yeah we're gonna go and see if we can find somewhere to sit in and have something to eat because it's a bit wet out here at the moment we have stopped to get something to eat in the center of Popovo so this is like the main square isn't it Popovo is only a small little town but it's pretty good um, you know we've got some uh, kebab well Emily's got like a a box of meat is it mm -hmm. or pot of meat with chips, well. with chips yeah you get chips in there she wanted um, uh, mayonnaise you get mayonnaise yeah every table comes with a free cat <laughs> So we just dropped two off and now there's another one. Come to say hello. Chloe is in the chair because they don't have high chairs and stuff. Um, Rachel's got like a medium sized kebab. Um, Rachel, can you show the kebab? She's got a medium sized kebab there. Can't really see inside it. I mean, it's, you know, it's a kebab. Um, I've got like a an extra large <laughs> kebab. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, so we just sat outside really and getting something to eat while we wait for the cats to be finished. Oh, the cat's just gone. We would have given him some food. He's just gone down the pavement a there. Biscuit, but no, but yeah, uh, yeah, we would have given him some food. And it's really good. Basically, this is like a little outdoor seating area from the kebab shop, which is um, there's two here. There's this um, this King Foods, which is the one we've come to, which is across there. That's the kebab shop that we've used. Um, we quite like that one, um, but there's also another good one down the road um, called Mr. Sam's, which is down the bottom of the road. And I don't know if you can see it, but in the distance, there's sort of like chairs down there, although they're not really set up today. They seem to be sort of not set up, so we probably made the right choice coming here. Um, there's a few different. There's, is this? Is there two kebab shops or more than what? More than two? I don't know now. There probably is more now. I think there's more, but they're just not. In the yeah, there's also the cafes and bars and stuff about. So. Oh, the sauce is. Yeah, sauce is nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's um. I went for spicy, but I haven't. I haven't opened mine yet because I won't be able to hold it both things. But yeah, not bad little place. Got, uh, the weather's not perfect today unfortunately but we have got um, this is like the main square you've got like a statue at the top there um, and then uh, you know that's the road we came down further up top of the hill uh, when we were coming in to pop over. and uh, yeah it's not a bad little uh, square you know obviously it'd be better in the summer wouldn't it when it's nice and warm and you know at the moment the weather hasn't quite quite got work you know going yet so uh, we're waiting on the weather but yeah so we're just uh, grabbing something to eat before we oh we forgot to get drinks really we'll get drinks when we uh, we'll go somewhere else for drinks <laughs> kill a bit more time uh, but it's yeah, but, be a yeah it's a nice little place there's, there's there's like little you know sort of like equivalent of pound shops and stuff for here there's markets there's you know, there's there's all sorts of clothes shops. You know, there's all sorts of things here, aren't there? Yeah. Um, it's quite a lot in Popper though, so you know, you don't have to go as far as Rousse really to um, to get stuff. So yeah, it's not bad. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into this kebab before it gets cold. We're heading back to the vets now. Um, there was a little bit of a shower, so it's a bit wet, but um, it's kind of dried up again now. So we're a bit worried that we'll be a bit stranded because I haven't got much of a coat. Rachel and Emily have, so they're usually better prepared than me. Um, we're just walking down the sort of like, I don't know if this is, is this the main street? Would you call this the main street? It's like kind of the main street of Popovo here. And, um, you know, it's got banks, it's got cafes, it's got shops, you know, everything's down, you know, down this sort of way, I'd say, mostly in Popovo. I mean, there are other areas, but it's one of the main areas and um, there's also tree cover so people are sat like on benches which are not getting wet which is quite good um, but it's lovely when it's nice and sunny isn't it yeah. when it's really sunny down here it's quite nice really so uh, but it isn't really sunny yet <laughs> let's hope that it does uh, get sunny next week or so although Easter's coming up this weekend so ideally for the weekend because we've got a long weekend hopefully it'll be nice and sunny and there's also like a cool shop in Popovo as well. It's a bit like a Poundland type place, but a bit more exciting than that. Look at those weird, like, what are those things down there? What are these? <laughs> this caught my eye. Look at this. 
I like it. I don't know what it is, but we can't just get it. What are they? Well, yeah. Wow. Well, don't know. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? And we can't get one. No, no, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I thought Miran had one. Yeah. Yeah, well, our neighbour's kid, I think, had one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cool shop, basically. Like, you can get all sorts of things in there. You know, plates. You know, what can you get? Like, plates. Um, bits of, like, cutlery. You know, all different kinds of... Yeah, ornaments. Um, think of it as, like, a really good pound land. Washing powder. I think it's better than Poundland, isn't there? Clothes. Yeah, washing powder, clothes. They do all sorts in there, don't they? It's really good, yeah. I think this is like a clothes shop, that, that second-hand clothes shop. Do you see a lot of sort of second-hand clothes shops about as well? Uh, we've even got some kids' rides, but it's a bit wet for that today. Pharmacy there. So there's pharmacy coming up. Um, there's a cafe across there with like a seating outside covered. So, you know, it's good. It's a good little town pop, though, really. There's quite a lot here, really, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, we don't come here as often, maybe, as some of the bigger places, but it definitely is nice. And, and you see a lot of, like, retired expats. They they live, like, kind of in and around Popovo, not that far from here. And they, they come in here and sit in the cafes and, you know, it's pretty cool. It's got a good, like, sort of... It's got a good, good, good atmosphere and it's got like quite a lot of British people about, isn't there, Rach? Yeah. And you get lots of sort of free pets about to uh, go and say hello to. So, what about this cat? Nope, he's not a friendly one. Oh well. Yeah, cool looking cat. Yeah, very strange. Some sort of, oh yeah, there's a, a mobile shop there kids toy shop there I think we got some stuff in there before like I think they did photocopy Beavercom another cat down there yeah so that's Beavercom that's our network actually and yeah you got like um yeah a little cat there I don't want to bother it because it's probably just keeping out of the rain you know <laughs> and I'll just make it run off yeah, it's all right really Popovo it's got a lot going on and um you know, and obviously the vets are here, so that's why we've come. Uh, post office in front. It's a post office down there on the corner. Hoshta, as you should see. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's just a shame it's not sunny today because it really can. I think these sort of places can look a bit drab in the in the rain, but when it's sunny, it's a really nice looking place, isn't it? And they're sat out and you know the, the little cafes and stuff I mean it's as good as anywhere isn't it when it's when it's sunny so yeah so yeah hopefully the sun will return we seem to the rain seems to have caught back up with us we had it mostly on the trip over seems to have found us again and come back <laughs> but anyway yeah so this is the square that we were at earlier um, with the fountain stand about and they're still going uh, so what we're going to do now is head back towards the vets and um, go and pick up the cats, isn't it? outside the vets waiting to go in uh, it's not quite four o'clock yet um, pretty cool they've got some cool stuff out here actually while we're waiting 
and there's coffee machines and like a sort of same day which is a bit I think this is like DPD the equivalent of DPD and it's a bit like you can pick up your Amazon parcel type things but I think it's for eMag and stuff like that they've also got like a sort of a vending machine for things like Nurofen and <laughs> all sorts of stuff I'm guessing that's a, is that like a people's app tacker there yeah, so it's like a pharmacy, so an app tech as a pharmacy, so pretty cool. Anyway, we're just, uh, we're probably a bit, just a little bit too early, I think. Um, but yeah, nice, cool little vets, and um, hopefully everything all went well with the cat. Emily's breaking another cat that's just below us. Um, but yeah, hopefully all good, and hopefully all went well, and we can get the hat cats home and... Um, get them rested and stuff and then hopefully they can we can let them out of the house and stuff and not worry about what happens or whether they get like kind of you know more kittens <laughs> hopefully not uh, yeah so we're just waiting now okay we have got the cats back and they're all good um, we are just uh, putting them into the back of the car they are still a bit sedated so the vet said you know they'll wake up a bit I think Columbus has been slightly more awake than Pixie who's probably had a much harder sort of um, operation well, unfortunately huh? maybe he was done first no I think he's just you know and also they put the towel in at the back so I don't know if that's normal or whatever probably to put pressure in the right place and what have you anyway she's fine you can see her breathing so she's all good and then Columbus, I think he woke up a little bit because I accidentally banged the cage on the door as I was coming out. And he did move, so we know he's alright. But he is looking a bit sort of out of shape at the moment, a bit sedated. But his whiskers are moving and um, yeah, so that's that's all done. And we, um, yeah, we picked up some, they've got some antibiotics and stuff to go with them, I think. And um, yeah, so we just got to make sure we keep them in today. Don't feed them today, feed them tomorrow. Um, not too bad. Um, we picked up some flea pills because they got fleas while we were away and stuff, so they need some flea pills as well. Um, but yeah, basically, they should all be right as rain soon. And um, I think the total cost was around 200 left, so not too bad. Um, that was with the, the antibiotics and other things as well. So yeah, all good. Um, and we just need to get them back home and get them rested really so Columbus is back home and he is a little bit groggy but he is moving okay and he's uh, he's all good aren't you Columbus show everyone you're alive don't want to be too rigorous with him hey, you're all right he's feeling a bit sorry for himself he has just lost his knackers, so it's probably fair. And Pixie is also recovering, but she's a little bit more shaky. She's a little bit more shaky, isn't she? Yeah. So, yeah, you can see, like, the green stuff that they put on, which is, like, an antiseptic, isn't it? Yeah, it has to be a bit clean. Yeah, she made it upstairs, though, so I brought her back downstairs. So she, she can move up, but she's, she's shaking better. a bit. It's the anaesthetic. Yeah. So, yeah, so hopefully now they've just got some recovery to do. Um, we've got some antibiotics that they gave us. Um, so we've got to administer those. There's a quarter of a tablet for each one, I think, every day. Yeah. Oh, the, the girl has two, two types tablets. of tablet. Quarter yeah. Of each. Quarter of each. Yeah. But, yeah, they will be on the men soon and... No more unexpected kittens, I would say. Oh, no. she's... Uh, that's, that's all right. She's not in a coma or anything. No, she's just... She's groggy. okay. Yeah. Seems like a good vet. Last time we had real problems with Sasha. Not not from that vet, but we went to a different vet and um, the stitches opened up and everything. And um, But yeah, she, you know, these ones look really good and they don't look like there's any issues. So and that does a better job, like for does does so far, yeah. So, yeah, definitely worth going to that vet, I think. Right, okay. I think that's it now. We've just got to leave them to rest.